Welcome everyone, this is Susie Byler, and I thank you for joining us today. In this episode, we are going to be asking some questions from you, our viewers, and so I appreciate your question submissions. I also feel like there is a tremendous energy coming through, so I'm ex excited to see what that's all about. As always, it is my intention to be as pure and clear as possible without any of my judgments or filters. And so I invite you to see what resonates with you. A viewer asks, is plan nine the last plan from outer space? I will be very direct with you, dear ones. There are a few flaws in this question. In looking at the grand perspective, there is no such thing as outer space. In numbering a plan, this does not work in our understanding. There are infinite possibilities, infinite combination, combinations of plans. There is no way to answer this question to gain the desired answer. For it is asked from a limited perspective when we are unlimited beings. Yes, dear ones, we are unlimited. Remember this, dear ones. I am glad you asked this question, for it gives the opportunity for you to remember that you are unlimited and infinite. Is plan nine the last plan? No, dear ones. There are infinite possibilities, infinite combinations of how life and events might unfold. Can you provide any insight about possible natural disasters in the United States? Is there energy behind this at this time? Yes, dear ones, there is some energy behind this at this time. However, as we have discussed before, myself and the hierarchy and all the light beings are working quite diligently with your souls so that as many of these as possible can be avoided. Right now there is energy around Texas energy in Florida. And so if you wish to serve in your state of allowing, send love and light to these geographical locations. This can shift in an instant, dear one. And so if you do not hear news about this, this is good. This means this energy has shifted. It does not mean it will not shift somewhere else. As we spoke about in the previous question, there are infinite possibilities. I am simply sharing what is occurring in this moment with your love emanating from your hearts. You serve to raise the frequency of all geographical locations. And so if you wish to serve, continue to raise your own frequency. I thank you, dear ones. Can you give us any details about the U.S. presidential election in November 2016? Yes, dear ones, this is quite an interesting time indeed. And we shall see how all, how all unfolds. What is occurring now is a sort of puppet show, you might say. I do not mean this in a derogatory sense. What this means is that what you see in your media is all for show. And should the timeline shift, and it does come to fruition, 
where one is elected in the typical processes of your past timelines. This is a possibility. However, from a higher perspective, what we are working on is an emerging new government system, not only for the U.S., but for the globe. Your dear Gaia is rapidly shifting along with your government systems that are much outdated, steeped in illusion, and ready to be rebirthed. Using this analogy, the new baby is ready to come out of the womb. But the environment is not quite ready to support the new baby. And so we are working with all souls to cultivate an environment that will support new government. It is our sincerest wish and desire that this can happen for you before the elections in November. Yes, as Prime Creator, I have no agenda. It is only to love, to be love and light. However, I do work with light beings and your souls. And so when I say it is our sincerest wish and desire, this is what I am referring to, dear ones. And so I invite you to hold the light for new government to be born before November 2016. If this is something that your soul desires, dear ones. Is there momentum behind the idea of debt forgiveness or restructuring of the student loan system in the U.S. within the next several years? Ah, yes, dear ones. While you are not seeing this yet in your external reality, much has been done behind the scenes in order for this to occur. All of this is in alignment with new government, galactic disclosure, monetary reform, and all of these other events that you are eagerly anticipating. So while you do not see these things in your physical reality at this time, on a large scale, what many of you are experiencing are various pains in your bodies, lightheadedness, heart palpitations. All of these things for many signify energetic shifts upgrades in your DNA and in your systems so that you will be ready to receive these unfolding events. Can you give us any detail on possible upcoming global economic disruption in the U.S., China, and Greece? Dear ones, this is where it is very important to keep your focus on love and this is how you can serve. Yes, again, there are infinite possibilities. Many could experience this as tragedy. However, as many of you know, you can jump timelines so that you can experience the unfolding events as your heaven on earth. Keeping your perspective on love will help you to understand the unfolding events. You may see things that look very dark and low vibrational. However, from a higher perspective, when you understand what needs to happen in the dismantling of the old paradigm, it will be easier to maintain your focus on love, to understand that things must fall apart before they can be put back together. Yes, of course, we are working to allow this transition to be quite smooth. However, if you hold fear within your being, 
We cannot disrupt this experience for you unless you ask for assistance, of course. But if you choose fear, you may have difficult experiences in the times to come. If you can, however, maintain the higher perspective, you will see there is no reason to fear, that this is simply a transition that must occur. Keep your eyes focused on love, dear ones, so that you can assist in creating a smooth transition for all, even those that choose fear. I thank you, dear ones. Can you give us a specific example of what heaven on earth will look like for the collective in the future? Dear ones, take some time to imagine what this would be for you. Many of you are eagerly awaiting the time where you experience free energy, not only for yourself, but for all on Gaia. Many are eagerly awaiting the time where you freely interact with love with your star brothers and sisters where lies and illusion finally dissolve, where you are released from your hologram and you can eat freely the highest vibrational food for it is abundant in your experience, where the system of exchange does not rely on limitation or one having more or less than, where each freely shares of his or her gifts. And if there is something you'd like to exchange with another, you offer your gift and they offer theirs. There is an equal flow of energy between you and a friend, amongst you and a group. In this heaven on earth, Gaia is at peace. The troublesome spots created by humans, such as oil spills and landfills. These are dissolved with your new technologies. Gaia is whole and healed. And you interact with her in a way that you have not interacted with her before. You breathe together You have an intimate understanding of each other, a harmonious relationship. Trust is restored. You no longer fear natural disasters because they no longer need to occur. She no longer fears human destruction because this no longer resides in your beings. As you feel the energy of this, dear ones, I invite you to take a deep breath. Hold this energy in your heart. Allow peace to be restored within your being. Thank you, dear ones. What percent of critical mass of awakened souls are we currently at? Dear ones, we are currently at 87%. Is there anything else Prime Creator would like to share with those watching this video at this time? Dear ones, I would like to offer an explanation of what is occurring for some of you at this time. what we previously have referred to as ascension symptoms, heart palpitations, pressure in the head, lightheadedness, and many other things that you are experiencing in your bodies. Very rapidly now, many of you are accepting and allowing these changes within your beings. 
Your DNA is being upgraded at this time. Your inner vision is being opened. If you are feeling pressure in your head, you are releasing and receiving simultaneously. Many are now receiving frequencies from their star brothers and sisters in preparation for their arrival in a tangible way. Yes, they are already with you and among you, but you are preparing yourselves to see them with your physical eyes and to interact with them in a new way. If you are feeling pressure at your third eye, your inner vision is being expanded. Your inner knowing, your seeing, is being elevated and amplified. That is one reason why this channel is wearing this halo around her head. It is enhancing her, her inner vision and her perception. She was guided to do this by her Arcturian friends. Dear ones, you do not need a halo around your head for this to occur. This is simply what she was guided to. If you feel palpitations within your heart, your heart energy is expanding. If this is uncomfortable for you, dear ones, simply place a hand upon your heart and with gratitude and love, nourish your heart and say thank you. Thank you for allowing this expansion. I hear you. I receive you. Thank you. If you are feeling extreme fatigue, or even periods of exhaustion. Take time to rest, dear ones, for the physical body requires time to integrate the new frequencies that you are receiving. You can also ask that you integrate with efficiency And in this way, you will have an easier experience of these energies coming in. Yes, many more of you are having many other symptoms. Take time to rest. Drink pure water. Eat the highest vibrational foods. Spend time in nature. These things will allow a more efficient integration of the new energies. Dear ones, do your best to allow and accept what you are experiencing now is preparing you for your heaven on earth. It is preparing you for the events that are to come. For yes, we are closer and closer to the time where you will see events unfold that you have only dreamed about, that you have known were going to happen. They are finally coming to fruition. I say they are coming to fruition very soon, dear ones. Now this channel and her beloved had a conversation about my use of the words very soon. For my perception of time and yours are quite different, dear ones. And so take it into your heart to mean what it means to you, not being attached to any timeline. but having the knowing in your heart of what is to unfold. Sometimes I do not give details, dear ones, because I want you to dream 
I want you to get back in touch with your heart's knowing, with your soul's knowing, so that you can experience your truth at the soul level as expressed through your heart. For the details I would give would resonate with some and not with others. And because I do not wish to influence your creation, I invite you to imagine in your hearts what your heaven on earth would look like. Yes, we had a previous conversation where I shared examples of heaven on earth. Because many of you watching this video will resonate with those examples. If you do not, then I invite you to tune into your hearts and discover what your heaven on earth looks like and how it would be expressed from your being. In truth, heaven on earth is when you are living and expressing from your soul. And so it will be different for each person as each soul is unique and on its own journey. I would also like to share with you, dear ones, something that your science will later show to you. But to give you a peek behind the curtain, so to speak, one thing that is occurring at this time is a rearranging of planets. New alignments. Alignments that have never occurred before in your rotations. These are not planets that you know. They are not planets that you have seen. They are beyond your galaxy. Yes, in your universe but not yet identified by your astronomers. This rearranging and aligning is supportive of Gaia and your heaven on earth. These planets or light beings have agreed to offer their support at this time And as they align, they are sending their love to the light network around Gaia that we have spoken of in previous conversations. And this alignment strengthens the light network around Gaia. Dear ones, I invite you to send them your gratitude, to ask them for even more support, for this allows them to strengthen the support that they would like to offer. It is taking a lot of work and effort on their part to create this alignment. And so you can offer them your gratitude send them your love. As your love travels out from your heart through your galaxy and beyond to these planets, these frequencies of love amplify the light that comes from Gaia as you are one with her. And this allows more love to be expressed on your planet. It is very special what these planets have agreed to do in service to you and to Gaia. It is not an ego thing, dear ones. However, you can understand 
how special each of your souls is. When you gain the perspective of how much these planets and other light beings wish to assist you, breathe this into your hearts, dear one. Feel the love that is around you and within you. I thank you, dear ones, for your service. I thank you for all that you do, for all that you are. Thank you, dear ones. Well, thank you for all of you, for who you are and all that you do. And I also wish to thank the light beings, the, those planets that are lining up to support us. Wow, that's, that's special. And I feel like there was more that Prime Creator wanted to bring through, but I personally needed to kind of stop it because I was getting a little... Um, like my circuits are, <laughs> see I'm having trouble finding words. Um, my circuits are a little blitzed, so I need to spend some time and integrate that energy. Um, but thank you to all of you for joining today. As always, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, I love you all. Thank you for all that you do. Much love. <laughs>